Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard. I have special guest Michelle on here from Mice Chat and Twitter. I'll give you her Twitter at the end. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Fantastic. Thank you so much for joining us today. Taking time of your, I'm sure, busy schedule. <laughs> so, you're here. Are you agreed to come on. So what have you were telling me this awesome story about how you were so into theme parks? How how were you into what got you in theme parks? Well, my mom and dad used to go to date night at Disneyland. And uh, they had two kids. And my dad wished for me at the wishing well, wished for another kid. And so they had me. And my mom was eight months pregnant wanted to go on Pirates of the Caribbean, and they uh, made her sign a waiver before she would go. Wow, yeah, see, so you're a true Disney baby. I think Tinkerbell made the wish happen. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been going, ever since then? Like, do you guys go every year? Ever or? since then, yeah. And what? I first went to Walt Disney World in 1987 and fell madly in love with Epcot Center. That's my main oh. thing, Epcot Center. So that's your favorite park at Disney World, huh? Mm-hmm. Interesting. Very interesting, interesting. Any particular reason? There was so much hope for the future and so many cool animatronics. What is your favorite ride at Epcot? Um, it was Horizons. Ah, and that is now gone. <laughs> Interesting. Have you Epcot been? Epcot Center is now gone, but that's my kind of my special focus. I'm autistic. Yeah. See, well, that is a that's super cool. And you have, um, I'm sure you have a lot of good pictures and memories of. I do. Caught Ford disappeared into its current modern version. Right. So, have what? Um, have you just been Disneyland and Disney World, or have you been? To... That's it. Oh, oh, that's it. I lived in I lived in uh, Yokohama, and I left Japan about the same day that they broke ground for Tokyo Disney. Oh, oh, wow! Is that on your bucket list? Yes, definitely. Wow. Do you plan to travel to all of the Disney parks eventually? Eventually, yeah. Nice. Really nice. want to see. Uh, see uh, Mystic Manor. Me too. That was very cool. That one looks super cool. Love it. I love the Haunted Mansion in general. Man. So, when did I'm you... I'm not do a big fan of the Haunted Mansion. Oh! How about Haunted Mansion Holiday? No, not really. I don't like the pop-up ghosts. Oh, I see that. Yeah, I feel that. But the how about the stretching room? Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Miss yeah, but Miss Manor is definitely much newer. More modern, more more definitely more cool. What a cool story as well. Um so when did you join uh when did you start writing from uh Mice Chat? In uh two thousand and ten, I believe. Wow, how did so how did that come up? Did you just like with that take application, well, you know, Dusty that? and I knew each other from Mouse Planet, and then I broke off and had my own site, fabulousdisneybabe.com. And uh, we had a disagreement on the message boards, so they broke off and made Mice Chat. Ah, oh, wow, wow, so it's like way, way back. So, when was 2005? 2005. Oh wow! So you both were part of Mouse Planet, right? What did you do? What did you write? Uh, what did you write for Mouse Planet? The same kind of articles you write uh, from? No, I I did a lot of uh, gossip and a lot of uh, leaks. Oh wow! wow. And that and you don't do that anymore. No, because um, one of the people who was leaking to me got fired. Oh, oh, wow. So, uh, hopefully, he didn't get fired because of the leaks. 
I hope not either, but it was close enough where I it started bugging my conscience. Um, yeah, I would have I would, I would felt bad. I'm like, oh no, I hope I didn't get him fired. Yeah, well, exactly. So tell us about your site. You said fabdisneybabe.com? No, I don't have a site right now. Oh, you don't have a site anymore. You used to. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. So now you just come on to my chat occasionally and write. I write about history and attractions that never were. Ah, what is your favorite or most interesting, would you say, attraction that never was? I would probably say the SS Disney, which was uh, going to be an oil tanker, mm -hmm. an oiled super tanker with mm -hmm. a theme park, park built on it. They were going to have Space Mountain down inside it wow. and uh, glass, a glass uh, covered carousel and wow. a Ferris wheel. And it's a small world, but with Omni movers instead of boats. Where was it? Uh, where was that supposed to be built? It was supposed to be built in Italy. Oh, wow. oh no, I'm sorry. That's the cruise ships. It was supposed to be built um, on a, on an existing super oil tanker. Oh, wow. I can see it now. That is. Oh, this is you. This article mouse pen. Wow. That is actually very cool. Now, for those of you who are wondering what it is, I'm going to share my screen. Well, look at the SS tanker. Let's see. Just put it in. Wow, that is a floating theme park. Very cool. Jump in. Wow, I just can't even imagine how a, a ship would support all those rides. But I guess it could... But the ship off. is just huge. Yeah, like, what? Super tankers can't even come into port. They have to have smaller tankers come out to them to retrieve the oil. Wow, that is pretty. And there's some pictures of it. Let's see. That's it's funny. I actually never heard of this. Before. My uh, article on it hasn't come out on mouse chat yet, mice chat yet, because um, my husband is making uh, color uh, cutaways of each each uh, level. Oh wow! So how many decks would this ship have? Four, four lower decks and then the top. Wow, that is cool. So I assume, I don't know if you can see my screen, but I assume this yes. area would have been Space Mountain? No, that would be, um, that would be, it's a small world. Space Mountain was going to be inside the tanker. The tanker was, was large enough to hold over three Space Mountains. Wow, that's cool. So here's and that's including there. the queue and everything. What? Oh, I see. I see a little. That might be. Where's I mean, And that? Star Tours was on there too. Casey Jr. Wow, I see like the Orbitron, Ferris wheel. That's pretty cool. What? That's a, that kind of sucks to get built. That's insane. Maybe they'll revisit it one day. That's super cool. Okay. The uh, management uh, convinced Michael Eisner that uh, doing a cruise line would be cheaper and better and would raise more money. And so they did the cruise line instead. And I've been on the cruise line and I'm not sorry. <laughs> what? Um, are you planning to go on the new Disney Wish? Someday. Which ship uh, were you on? I was on the Wonder in 2012, going to, on a seven day to Mexico, mm -hmm. and at Christmas time. So that was a joy. And then I took my kid Alice, who's 22 or 28. Mm -hmm. I can't remember her age. 28. Um, <laughs> 
and we went on the dream in 2019 and we went down to castaway key in nassau in the bahamas so what has been your favorite disney cruise trip was the dream the dream interesting it's because of the boat or because of the destinations because of the boat and being with with uh, alice that's nice. Yeah, I haven't yet to be on a Disney cruise, but hopefully I'll be on the Disney Wish sometime soon. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. So. Sorry, I live in kind of a noisy neighborhood. <laughs> oh, no. That's totally understandable, especially during the evening rush hour. So I assume Disney is your favorite because of that first story. You told us about why you got into Yeah, I was raised from the cradle. <laughs> oh. And what is your favorite Disney park? Epcot. Epcot. Even in its new version or just the Epcot Center? Um, Epcot Center is my favorite. Okay. And I guess your second favorite? Is the Epcot new version. Ah, so Epcot has your heart. Have you been? When's the last time you've been to Epcot? 2019. Oh, so you have not seen Harmonious in person, at least. No, not yet. Are you planning a few, uh, trip soon? Yeah, I'm going up there with uh, my ex-husband, Jim Hill. And, oh, uh, Jim Hill, he has the podcast, correct? Yeah, he has a great podcast with yeah. Len Testa. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're, we're going up there the first week of December. <laughs> oh, right in time for the holidays. That'll be my head. Do they deck yeah. up the very well for Christmas? I'm dying to see Festival of the Holidays. Oh, yeah, they did it there. Because, yeah, I assume there's lots of great entertainment and great food over there, just like California Ventures mini version. So, wow, that'll, that'll, be, that'll be pretty cool. Do you like, um, are you going to write Guardians of the Galaxy? Oh, heck yeah. Oh, yes. The cosmic... I'm going to try and write it twice. Yeah, hopefully by then they uh, make it a little easier to write. Uh, hopefully the virtual queue will switch over to standby. But uh, yeah, that's, that's, I must say. Epcot, I think my favorite Disney World card is Animal Kingdom, but I definitely excited for Epcot because of Guardians of the Galaxy. I, which one are you excited for the new additions that are were announced? Yeah, I was really excited about the uh, three-story building they were going to build with the park on top, but they canceled that. Yeah, that one looks very interesting and cool. What a great, uh, great viewing area for the show. But Moana Journey of Water looks very interesting. And how about the play pavilion? Yeah, that looks interesting too. I'd love to be a little kid again and go. <laughs> yes. And um are you sad about the Mary Poppins? Yeah, but I I wasn't really expecting it. When uh, they announced it, I said I doubt it. Yeah, you were right. Wow, yeah, it's in the go. Interesting. Yeah, I'm not sure what was happening, but but maybe someday Mary Poppins will come over and hang. And then you haven't been on Ratatouille. No, yeah. not yet. Uh, yeah. So I mean, quite a fun trip. We experienced. But we've been on the Skyliner and really enjoyed that. Oh yeah, I was looking at them. Very. Oh, this is a good question. Monorail or Skyliner? Which one's better? Right now, the Skyliner, because the monorail has a really funky smell. Oh, wow. That's, that's no fun. And <laughs> the disrepair, but the doors always seem to be falling off those things. But yeah. um, so it doesn't get too hot in Skyliner. It goes fast enough. There's enough air flowing through the little slits they got going on there. Yeah, it was fi fine, a little breezy. Yes, and each ship, the uh, longest ship is in what, more than like, what, like 10 minutes or something, right? So you're not even in there for too long. No, you're not. 
Right. Did you and take you've the got whole an emergency thing? box under the seat in case you get stuck. It has drinking water and stuff. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I was very curious about that because I'm like, hmm. Because, see, I'm claustrophobic. I don't like Ferris wheels. So I'm like, hmm, I wonder how I do in the sky uh, ladder. But that's encouraging. Like, if you get stuck, there's, like, you're not like, I wouldn't be like, you know, dying or be stuffed there. So that's very encouraging. And the longest trip, it's not, it doesn't even go too high. So that's pretty good. Did you take the whole route or did you just go just where you need to go? Yeah, like, we went every route. And it was while uh, Epcot Forever was playing. So we got to see the kites and we got to see the fireworks. Ooh, that's what that must have been an amazing view. It was incredible. We loved it. Like, wow, that's in, that is that is great. And so, out of all the are you, all the Disney World editions, fiftieth anniversary, are you which one are you the most hyped up for? Guardians. Oh well, yes, and I assume second would be Tron. If it ever opens. <laughs> I agree. If it ever opens. It's then. been 84 years. <laughs> <laughs> Soon to be 85. <laughs> <laughs> and so, what you mean? so let's see. Tron. And for Disney World, they don't have, or Magic Kingdom, sorry. When are they ever going to get a nighttime parade back? I don't know. Spectro Magic is so was so good. It's hard to beat. <laughs> Would you want them to bring that one back with updates or an entirely new parade? Spectro Magic with an update. But they destroyed the floats. Oh, that's that's a, that's not a promising. <laughs> Man. So, getting on to some rumors. What do you think will be announced at D23 this year? Or what do you think will be announced and what what would you like to be? What's like your dream list of announcements? Oh boy. Um, what do I think will be announced? Uh, some stuff for Paris. They were supposed to get a Galaxy's Edge but it looks like it's cancelled now. Oh, yeah, I did see something like that. And uh, talk about Toontown at Disneyland. Mm -hmm. What do I wish and hope? Uh, Tomorrowland. New Tomorrowland. Yes. Now, with all those rumors flying around, do you think something will be announced? Or do uh, you have your doubts? Maybe. Maybe. Interesting. Maybe. Interesting, interesting. And do you think we'll get a Splash Mountain closing date as well? Probably. Because I feel like you know. I'm excited about that. I think it's going to be cool. Tiana, yeah. Do you think? Because I know there's a lot of debate around. Would you have preferred Tiana to get her own dark ride or take over Splash Mountain? Take over Splash Mountain. Interesting, interesting. Any particular reason? Because the songs are are just so worthy of a great big e ticket. Yeah, they do have some nice songs. Um, Friends my, on the other side got robbed at the Oscars. Yeah, that is my favorite song, and I love Friends on the Other Side. And I am must say, I'm very excited to hopefully. Be climbing the lift till hearing friends of the other side because that's like yeah the song for that. Bum, 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 bum. Exactly. I want to hear. I want to hear him say, "Are you ready?" <laughs> I'm like, yeah. "I am ready." <laughs> um, but yeah. So new to yeah. So I feel like my wish list would be definitely new Tomorrowland. Maybe. Something with Fantasyland because of Mr. Scott's tweet. He said he's working on something over there. Yeah, about the motorboat. Oh, yeah, People yeah. Mover, I hope. Yeah, that too. The People Mover. So I feel like a, 
a nice that whole area if they can get announced for that whole area while keeping the lagoon I feel like that'd be just fantastic if they get rid of all that me too all that mess of the people moving Monroe going all over that whole area and make a nice expansion that would be perfect now with Disneyland Forward are you were, are you excited about the prospect of that? Do you think the prospect of that is dead? What are your thoughts on Disneyland Forward? I think it's just so that they can get the money from the city mm -hmm. and the stockholders. And uh, I think it's going to end up different than what we were originally shown. Mm -hmm. mm, so do you think, see, so you think uh, when they, if, if and when they get the rezoning, do you think they, they won't expand the, the the parks into those areas and they will use it for something different? Yeah, I, I don't see them actually doing it. I could be wrong. I hope I'm wrong. What do you see? Let's say they, if they get it approved and everything, they get the rezoning. What do you see them putting in those spots, if anything? Um, more hotel and shopping space. Interesting. And then what do you foreshadow with the Toy Story lot? Same idea? Um, no, I think that they'll build the the mall that they were planning on. Okay, so yes, they basically think that all expansion space in Disneyland Ford will all just be hotels and retail areas. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. There's a lot of money. A lot of money can be made from, from uh, yeah, so much things. Yeah, but we shall see. So, do you think Anaheim, even with the recent scandal and stuff, do you think Anaheim will approve it soon, or do you think they'll, they'll wait? A, uh, I think they'll wait. Wait a year or two. Yeah, until that uh, dust will settle, settle off a little bit. Uh, right. And. So, do you you follow all, all the Disney news like a lot yeah, on Twitter and everything a lot, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So when you saw the, the park, newest, the newest uh, shocking, terrible thing, uh -huh, is that they're calling the fairy godmothers in training now. They're calling them fairy godmothers apprentices, so that guys can do it too. And, I mean, uh, I saw something like that. I didn't. Really and read. one one woman in a Facebook group said that the Supreme Court should be called in to uh, judge <laughs> against Disney for that. <laughs> oh, that is quite extreme. <laughs> oh, that's that's actually very extreme. That's the kind of nonsense I see every day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, those Twitter folks, some of those comments, well, I don't know, anything. Well, it's the Facebook ones, really. The uh, Twitter ones are, are just like, if you change the slightest thing, they'll never go to Disney again until they change the next, next thing, and then they'll never go to Disney again. Yeah. Um, yeah, those Facebook and some of those some people, they are insane with their comments out there. Um really funny uh, but yeah absolutely everyone definitely go follow um let's see it's, it's, it's a fabulous disney babe at pink monorail there you go i'll share the screen one more time so you can definitely go give her a follow very active on twitter That's i'm what? fab shelly i'm fab shelly on uh facebook oh. i'm at pink monorail on instagram and on um, Twitter. So pink. Oh, okay. So pinkmonorail.com is thing you have. Is not got taken over by Chinese pornographers. Yeah, she yeah, exactly clicked it, and I was like, "Oh wow, this is a very Asian website." <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and then Dan, it's not yours <laughs> anymore. Um, and fabshelly at yahoo.com for any contact. Which, Yep. So you do product reviews. What what products do you review? Um, mostly toys. Some oh, clothes. Yeah. Nice. And 
And says, do you have your own merch or is you review merch? No, I don't. It's review merch. Got you, got you, got you. Cool, cool. What is hair metal and glam metal? Hair metal and glam metal is uh, metal from the late 1980s to early 1990s. Mm -hmm. When guys wore spandex and hairspray and makeup. Oh, got you, got you. I was like, I've never heard that. Like before. Poison and Motley Crue. Gosh, you gosh, you gosh. You. Okay, A little before is... your time, youngster. Yeah, definitely. Like, I don't know what that is, but I'm now that I have you on, I can finally ask. Because I'm like, what is that? <laughs> so, yeah, your ex husband, Jim Hill, runs the Disney Dish podcast, right? That's right. Like, uh, yeah. Are you? Have you ever been on? Does he? Are you ever a guest star on that? Uh, no, but I've been on a podcast that we did for a while called "I Want That." That was about uh, Disney merchandise, but it kind of went nowhere. Uh, what is your favorite Disney merchandise? Have you gotten some of the new Main Street Electrical Parade? No, I'm a fan of the Main Street Electrical Parade. Uh, which also begs the question, what would you prefer, Main Street Electrical Parade or Paint the Night? Paint the Night. Oh, me too. Oh, I'm so glad. <laughs> Disney, Disney will the ever music. bring that back. <laughs> it's the music for me. I mean, yeah, I love it. I love the music. I love the lights. It's, it's like perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think Disney will ever bring that back? I hope so. Me and even magic happens. I only ran for like two weeks. Do you, I know. Bringing I mean, that one back too. I heard it was really good. Yeah, I, I got to see it a couple times. I filmed it for the channel. And I saw it at nighttime, and I liked it at nighttime. The the because some of the floats, like the Moana float, have a lot of LED lights, and sometimes the sun would make it glare on them. So. In the dusk, it made it much more vibrant, which is very cool. So I hope they bring it back. Uh, I don't know when. I guess waste next if year. They didn't. What? Be a big waste if they didn't. I know exactly. <laughs> so for Disneyland only, what is your favorite ride? Or sorry, Disneyland okay. Resort. So Disneyland California. At Disneyland. Right. Yeah. Pirates of the Caribbean? Rise I, of yeah. uh, Rise of the Resistance. Small World. And Small World. So Pirates, Rise, and Small World. No, just Rise and Small World. Oh, God. Rise and Small World. Gotcha, gotcha. Favorite land? New Orleans Square. Gorgeous. Yes, it is so gorgeous. Favorite show? One man's dream. And at California Adventure, what would be your favorite ride and land? My favorite ride at California Adventure. Gosh, I go there for the food. Um, <laughs> <laughs> my favorite ride there, I think, would be uh, Little Mermaid. That's a nice one. The longer ones. Yeah, it just dragged nice. me on the fun wheel on the moving cars once, and that was enough. Yeah, no, see, I would totally throw up the motion sickness. I think he still has finger marks in his arm from it. No, <laughs> you claw. You're like, get me off of here. Oh, that would be me. He's like, calm down. Just imagine we're sitting on a porch in rocking chairs, and Alice is inside breaking things, and everything's fine. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. No, I'd be like, listen, we're too high up and we're in this box that's moving. I gotta get the heck out of here. <laughs> oh, no one can ever force me to go on that thing. And what's your favorite land in California Adventure? Um, hmm. It's a good one. I would have said Bugs Land. 
that's gone now. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess Pixar Pier. Pixar Pier. Wow, that is quite a. I feel like a controversial choice. I know many people were very upset when that was announced. So that's cool. I think it's. Uh, I like it too. That's a lot of energy to the pier, which is very nice. I mean, I get upset when change, things change too, but I'm not going to boycott Disney. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's just too hard to because Joanne is Disney. They'd have to do something like racist or homophobic or something for me to boycott them. Mm. Yeah, they definitely will be doing that. Um, and lastly, what do you think is going to happen with this magic key program here? The renewal dates in here, and we're not uh, getting any options. I have an Imagine key. Yeah. Do you think the um, the key, like, do you think That's there's going to be a new key? Wrong. What? Bob Chapin will never admit he's wrong. Yeah, yeah. Do you think they're gonna come up with a new key, or do you know why? Do you, do you have an idea why it's been taking a while for them to click the uh, let let people renew for the uh, their pass? About what they're doing. Yeah, it seems like I feel like they don't even know themselves. It kind of went on as it went along, without doing proper research. <laughs> yeah. So man. Well, let's see what they do with that. Man. Well, thank you so much for coming on the channel for this nice little chat about Disney. That is very cool about the your Disney story. But wait, how you're born? Like, I really feel like Tinkerbell was there. She was just like, <laughs> because that's super cool. Like, what? No way. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for coming on and tell us everyone one more time where they can find you on Twitter and Facebook. On Twitter and Instagram, I'm at Pink Monorail. And on Facebook, I'm at Fab Shelley. Awesome. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and share for more theme park updates and cool podcasts like this one. Bye-bye, everybody.